Morning, everybody. Welcome back to the channel for another video today. We have my um, weekly grocery haul and meal plan video for you guys today. Also, I have perfected the heatless curl. I am like obsessed. I've been doing it every single night. So I might actually do a tutorial on it on my other channel because I've just been like so obsessed with the ways I figured out how to do it. But anyway, tangent there. You guys don't like to do that. But uh, yeah, so I have my grocery haul for you guys. And as I mentioned in my video on Sunday, I found a really good deal on Pepsi products. So I'm going to be sharing that with you guys today. Um, I ended up spending $142, I believe. Um, but I got eight 12 packs of soda. So that was a good portion of it. Uh, but anyway, our meals for the week are, we are going to be having the chorizo soup that I got from Sam's Club. We're going to be having sausage, um, the cheddar jalapeno sausage with red beans and rice and like green peppers and onions and all that. I make like a little stir fry out of it. We're going to have that. We're also going to be having our easy meal this week is chicken tenders and fries because Finley has her um, like preschool Christmas program this week that we have to go to. So that, and then that's three. We are having... Why do I always forget? I'm so for spaghetti. <laughs> um, we have some spaghetti sauce that my sister-in-law actually made and froze and it's homemade sauce and it's so good. So we won't have that this week. And then the final thing, we have another whole chicken from when I bought the whole chickens at Sam's Club two times ago. We have one in the freezer. So we're going to have that with like potatoes and carrots and all that and bread. And I'll probably make some homemade bread for that. So that's our meal plan for the week. I'm gonna go ahead, turn you around and show you what I got this week from Food Lion for our family of five. Again, I spent $142. So this haul also includes a couple of things that I had to take into um, Kylie's party for school. And this is one of those things. So I needed a bag of chips. So she chose the Cool Ranch Doritos. I bought these sandwiches for Chris and I last week and we both loved them. So I went ahead and picked up another one for us. So this is the Taste of Inspiration Turkey and Munster Cheese. These are so good. And I mean, they're definitely a treat. They're $3.99 for each sandwich, but it's definitely cheaper than going to like Subway or something like that. Um, so yeah, we're going to have these for lunch today probably. Kylie went with me to the store today and she picked out Chris's breakfast for the week um, and she got him these uh, Jimmy Dean breakfast burritos. Um, so he will have these for the week. There's only four in there. I guess I'll just figure something else out for, for the other day. I got some milk and I actually bought um, two of these. Max was barking at Piper for uh, a bone. I got two of these because the kids have been running out of milk like midweek. Kylie and Finley have. So I went with a whole gallon and then also a half gallon. And I'm going to see if that is enough. Um, if that's what I need to start buying every week or whatever. If not, then I guess I can up it to two gallons a week. Um, as they're getting older, they're drinking more milk. I'm going to do the Pepsi stuff last. So we'll do all the food first. I also got some Michelina's meals, two of the macaroni and cheeses, and then one of the fettuccine Alfredo. Um, we'll just go ahead and do produce. So I got one yellow onion for the whole chicken, three things of strawberries, because these actually really looked good today. Look how red and like juicy those look. Um, they are by Berry Boss, which I have never heard of. Dover, Florida is where they are. I've never heard of them. I've never seen that brand before, but they looked really good. They weren't on sale. I think they were like $3.59 a piece, but you know, they looked good, so I went with them. Kylie wanted some bananas for the week. She eats these a lot after school as snacks before dinner. Potatoes for the whole chicken and potatoes. I already had carrots, so I didn't have to buy any of those. And then um, Finley wanted some apples this week, and um, Chris told me that he heard on his favorite radio show <laughs> that he listens to at work that the Ever Crisp apples are good. So these bags were on sale, I think, for $4.99 for the bag, so I went ahead and bought this. Um, I don't know if they'll be better than Honeycrisp, but, um, which, you know, we're partial to, but we'll give those a shot this week. Finley honestly doesn't care what kind of apple you give her. I got the Snack Factory Pretzel Crisp, the Buffalo Wing. I bought these last week for Bryson and he, um, absolutely loved them. Um, let's see, two different types of Pop-Tarts. So frosted chocolate for... Um, Kylie, no, Bryson, and then cookies and cream for Kylie. This is their last week of school before they're off. So, you know, easy, you got, I do easy all the time, but definitely this week. They'll have some fruit or something with that in the mornings. I was completely out of raspberry lemonade drink mix. So I got two of these. These have gone up in price, I've noticed. Um, 
over the last little while. These were like two over two dollars. They used to be a dollar forty nine, and they were I believe two nineteen now. So it's just another thing that has increased in price. Um, so for Kylie's party, another thing that I needed was these pointy sugar cones. So I think they're making like the Christmas tree craft where you put it upside down and, you know, put icing and all that stuff on it. Um, so that was one of the things I signed up for, for her class. So I had to get that. We are going to make some more of the Christmas tree cake truffle balls, which you have not tried them. They are so delicious. They went viral, I think, last year on TikTok, and they're still just so good. So um, I wanted to make them one more time at least before Christmas. So I got two boxes of the Christmas tree cakes. Last time we did them in chocolate as well, but they didn't have any of the chocolate cakes. So I might, you know, see if I can find some before Christmas, but the vanilla will work for now. These ice creams are Chris's. So these are his favorite and they were on sale this week for, if you bought three of them, then you got them for $2.39 or $2.49 when they're originally like $4.99 a piece. So I went ahead and got him three. I got two of the icing on the cake and then one of the just chocolate chip. He likes the cookie dough one, but they didn't have any. I got Finley some of the Smithfield Anytime Cubed Ham. She's not had this in a long time and I just thought I would switch up, you know, give her another option for quick lunches or whatever on days that we're just grabbing quick things. Um, she's been eating turkey sticks and Lunchables and stuff like that a lot. So wanted to switch that up. These are the easy meal dinner for Thursday night before her Christmas program. So I got the McCain five minute fries, seriously the best things ever. And then the crispy chicken strips the Food Lion brand ones, we like these, but I was gonna get the Tyson ones because they were on sale, but they didn't have any. So I went with the Food Lion brand. They finally had my coffee creamer back in stock. So I got that, the vanilla caramel one. And then a few more things over here. We needed toilet paper. I don't know how I forgot this at Sam's Club, but I did. Um, so I got the Scott Comfort Plus. It was on sale, I think for $6.99, which is why I got it. I pretty much just picked what was on sale. Um, my Italian Ices, the Lindy's Lemon. I was completely out of these. Couldn't have one last night because I was out. Two cream cheese bars. These are for the truffles. Um, I might only need one, but again, I might want to make something else that has cream cheese. And in the last couple of years, cream cheese is really like, you haven't been able to find it around Christmas time. So I went ahead and grabbed an extra one. Kylie wanted gum and she was there with me. So she picked the Icebreakers, the Arctic Grape. That's her favorite. Um, so these chocolate chips, y'all, I bought them. We had some and I only bought these because, um, they were, they had this coupon and then I forgot to use this coupon. Like what the heck? I was using coupons for the sodas and I totally forgot about this one, like in the moment. And so I paid, I think two ninety nine for these. And if I would have used the coupon, it would have made them cheaper than the, the food line brand, but whatever. I can save it, I guess, and use it if I need more chocolate chips. Icing is the other thing that I signed up for to bring for Kylie's class. So icing, sugar cones, and the Doritos. I, you know, just signed up for a few different things. Onion soup mix is for the whole chicken as well as the chicken broth, also for the whole chicken, and then angel hair for spaghetti. Um, okay, so this Pepsi deal back here. So I got, let's see, two of the Spark, no, three Spark, four Mountain Dew Zero Sugars, and one regular Mountain Dew. The only reason I got the one regular Mountain Dew is because I had tried to grab a Dr. Pepper, and I realized that my coupon that I had did not work on Dr. Pepper. It was only Mountain Dew or Pepsi. So I had Kylie, there's an end cap like right there. So I had Kylie go switch it. So the one Mountain Dew I'm Chris might drink a few of them, but Bryson will probably drink them. So Bryson spark, he should be good on for like, I don't know, a long time. He drinks one a day. I'm going to turn you around. I felt like I was just talking to nothing. Like I felt like maybe it'd be better if you saw my face. So anyway, um, the spark, he should be good on for a very long time. They, he drinks one of them a day, um, during the week, usually with dinner. And then sometimes on the weekend, we let him have more than one, but not all the time. And then the Coke, Mountain Dew Zero Sugars. In theory, I would hope those would last a while, but they probably won't. Now, let me tell you about the deal. So they are on sale this week at Food Lion for three for $12. Um, and that in itself for right now is a good deal. But our Pepsi locally here put out coupons on the Pepsis that was $3 off if you bought two of them. So it made them two for $5 or two fifty dollars a piece, which is unheard of right now. Like 
I have not seen that price in a very long time on Pepsi product or any soda, to be honest. Um, so Chris, as some of you know, works for a beer vendor. He's a salesman, manages a route and sells them all their beer and all that stuff. But um, so he is friends with a lot of the vendors. And so the Pepsi man near him gave him a bunch of the coupons. So we have a whole stack of them, which I don't know that I would use. Like that was too many. I only used three today. Um, and my food line was out of the varieties that I wanted or I would have done more. I might, I think the sale is through Wednesday, Tuesday. It resets on Wednesday. So I might see if I can grab a couple more cases before and just stock up on them for a while because again, you're not gonna find a better deal than that. And the Pepsi man did tell us that this, the coupons expire like the end of December and Pepsi will not be on sale again before then. Um, I think Coke in our area is on sale for the next couple of weeks. So, I have to get them by Tuesday. So that is the, the deal that I found two for five. Again, you just can't beat that right now. Um, at least in my area, it's, it's pretty unheard of. Even the register, the cashier was like, yeah, you just don't hear, you just don't see two for five anymore. And I'm like, yeah, you just really don't. So got eight cases of soda. Those will go in the garage and hopefully they last us a while. So that is my grocery haul for this week. Now y'all, let me tell you, you were going to be getting a pantry makeover video, um, later in the week that I was going to film tomorrow. And Chris, wonderful, amazing Chris, decided to clean the pantry out while I was at the grocery store. So it's done, <laughs> but he took my content idea. So I don't know what you guys are going to be getting later this week, but I'll come up with something. Maybe it's just like a day in the life or something like that. So stay tuned for that. I will see you guys on Thursday and I hope you have a great start to your week. And I hope that if this is the last week of school for your kids, like it is mine, that you uh, get some stuff accomplished this week before the kids are home. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you on Thursday. Bye guys.